when we sit in the power, people sometimes get sitting in the power and meditation confused. Meditation or guides or inspirers will come forward and interact with us in a way that they're teaching or leaving us gifts or allowing us to feel their presence and that's quite interactive and it's all within the mind so we see we sense we understand and we're always in our imagination so if we're in that space of meditation within the mind and seeing and being present then it's just about allowing it to be and whatever happens, we have to move from, is it my mind and imagination to the spirit will use my mind and my imagination. And therefore everything that happens whilst in meditation is in some way the spirit world inspiring us and interacting with us. Sitting in the power is slightly different to meditation. It requires for us not to be present within the mind and to use our imagination and to be mindfully present. It requires for us to be more within our soul. And you would wonder, you might ask, what's the difference between being mindfully present and soulfully present? The difference is that a meditation, you're active. You're walking down the path, you're you're flying, you're walking, you're swimming, you're jumping, you're sitting, you're talking, you're doing. Sitting in the power is simply sitting within the space and allowing the spirit world to come to you. If you start looking for signs and um, gifts and um, evidence that they're there, then you're being too active within it. Sitting in the power is where you drift and allow and the spirit will genuinely come, generally come in to that space with you, you might find your mind drifts, so you can't be concentrating on sitting around a firelight or flying or swimming because your mind will drift and you'll lose time and you'll wonder if you fell asleep. That's where the spirit world can come in and do healing. It can work on your soul in terms of your emotions. They can work on the soul in terms of your mediumship or your psychic ability and develop you spiritually as you as with you as part of their team. So if you're sitting in the power, we would advise you not to go seeking and looking for signs. Just allow it to be every, every experience should be slightly different. And when we're sitting in the power, there's another question here about what comes through, how do I know it's not my imagination? If you're truly sitting within the power of yourself and have the presence of the spirit world, your imagination is what they will use to capture your consciousness and take you on a journey if they want. It will not be because a CD takes you there or a voice takes you there. You'll just naturally find yourself daydreaming. And how often do we daydream? Well, I daydream quite a lot. My mind drifts. That's how easy sitting in the power is. Just allowing yourself to daydream. But the daydream is implanted by the spirit world. They need to capture your conscious mind to get your conscious mind out the way for them to do whatever they need to do with the subconscious mind, which is the healing part, which is the development part. Allow it to be. If you're looking for the same thing to happen again and again, it means you're controlling it. If you allow every experience to be different, the spirit will get to control it. And I think they know best. I would imagine my team know far more what I need than what I think I know. Mm. Although I might not admit that all the time. It's, but when you're truly in that power, there's a reality there. there. There's no doubt that you know it's the spirit world. So that question comes from, if you think you're still in the imagination, it still feels like that, then I would say you were in the imagination. Because when you have that spiritual experience where they can show you somewhere, stand you somewhere, interact with you, it's like reality. It's like here and now, that speaking, that solid conscious state that you can still touch and hear. And when we come out of that, it remains with us very vividly as well. Um, I can still remember experiences from when I first sat many, many years ago, um, and they still stay with me now. There's a real difference within the mind and within the consciousness. Mm -hmm.